Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So whenever I make creepy type videos, if there's ever some sort of update or the situation has changed or more things have happened, I do like to come back here and sort of update you guys on what's been going on. And nothing like super crazy or insane has been happening, but I know that ever since I posted those attic videos, you guys have been asking me nonstop, has anything else happened? What's been going on? Please update us. So that's why today I'm going to be doing this sort of short update for you guys because I think about three more things have happened that are just out of the ordinary in my house. And I'm not saying that yes, I believe someone's in my attic. It's just sort of interesting to pair the two together because if it's not me or Ty moving things around or doing something weird, we're always like, well, who is it then? <laughs> so we like to call it our attic person. Is it actually? Probably not. But it's just sort of fun to update you guys on the whole situation. But before I get into that, today I'm going to be announcing the backdrop winner. So it's the winner before this backdrop. It was the sort of orange one with the flowers all over it. It was super, super bright. And the winner's username is Lady Banshee. So congrats, girl, on winning that backdrop. It's super bright and colorful and crazy, so I really hope you love it. And because I have just just announced this winner. That means that the next treasure hunt is about to begin for this one. So usually I do like four or five words for this whole treasure hunt for you guys to put together, but I think today we're gonna be doing six words because I feel like I can make a more interesting sentence with six words. You know what I mean? So to find these words, as I always say, they're in the description of the previous six videos to this one. So if you wanna win this backdrop, find those six words, put Put them in a sentence because they're not going to be in order. I know a lot of the time that I do this stuff, people don't put the words in order when they submit them. They just like throw them all in a sentence and it doesn't make any logical sense. So you are supposed to rearrange these words to make like a logical sentence. You know what I mean? So those words are going to be in the description box of the previous six videos to this one. When you found them all, when you've made your sentence, come back here, comment it down below and you will be entered for this backdrop back here. I really love doing these. Like before I I was giving away backdrops. I just had so many sitting around that I was doing nothing with. So I'm so glad I'm just giving these away when I'm done with them because you guys use them for your bedrooms or you actually use them to film videos. You can really do whatever the heck you want with them because they're yours if you win them. <laughs> Ugh, guys, my tattoo is healing so slowly and it's the itchiest thing in the entire world. And I've had tattoos before, okay? I have one here and here and they were not as itchy as the one on my leg. And what sucks is that when I'm sleeping, I'm not really aware of like what I'm doing with my body so I'll scratch it in the middle of the night because I'll feel itchy and then in the morning there'll be these scratch marks and they'll be like no sleeping Jess what are you doing <laughs> like sleep Jess does not care she wants to scratch that tattoo and it's not a good idea for her to do but I can't control sleeping Jess like sleeping Jess does what she wants because she's sleeping Ah. Anyways though, it's it's honestly not too bad. I just have to keep my hands away from it because otherwise it's gonna heal in a very weird way and it's not gonna say Mandy anymore. It's gonna say like and then no one's gonna know why the heck I got it. Okay, so as usual, I've been keeping little notes on my phone when something weird happens. So I did tweet this. This is so bizarre. So about three or four weeks ago, Ty and I started getting this mail delivered to our house to someone named Ryan. Now, no one in my house living here is named Ryan. No one in my family is named named Ryan. Ty's brother's not named Ryan. Ty doesn't know anyone named Ryan either, okay? So no one here. There's there's no Ryan. And so you're probably wondering, well, Jess, was it the owners that owned your house before you? And no, because I know the two owners' names and I know their two sons' names. None of them are Ryan. So then I was thinking, okay, maybe it was like misdelivered to me. Like maybe it was meant for someone else. So then I was thinking, okay, what are the names of my neighbors on this street with me. And I don't have a lot. I literally have six neighbors. And none of them are named Ryan. <laughs> and it's not like the mailman accidentally gave me someone else's mail because it literally has my house address on it. Like it's not like it has, you know, a couple numbers down from me that they might have missed. It's literally my address and it only started happening. So like weekly, we're getting mail for Ryan all of a sudden. <laughs> so I was tweeting that and you guys were like, maybe it's the guy in the attic. Maybe his name is Ryan and he's ordered stuff or his family is sending him mail because they miss him or like I don't know you guys are so hilarious because whenever something happens you guys are like 
it's the attic man but yeah I don't know who this Ryan person is I haven't opened his mail we've just sort of like tossed it in a basket in our garage because we don't really know what to do with it I've asked a bunch of my neighbors they have no idea who it's for so I mean I don't know guys but I thought that was just bizarre because it was like as soon as I started talking about the weird stuff happening in the house the potential attic man that is when I started getting this mail to Ryan who is Ryan so Ryan if you're listening don't send mail here anymore okay we're just gonna toss it. Okay, then the next thing that's happened. So remember how I found that bikini in my closet? It didn't belong to me, it didn't belong to my sister, none of my friends, it was a random bikini just in the closet, just appeared one day. Like my closet is clean, okay? Nothing on the floor, everything is organized. I walked in there, there's just a bikini like on the carpet and I was like, okay. What is this? So the other day, the same thing happened. I walked into my closet. It's like a walk-in closet, literally. So I open the door, walk in there, and there's like three workout tops on the floor. They're from Pink. I don't know if you guys know the brand Pink. I have never in my life shopped there. I don't have anything against it. But first of all, I don't like the color pink. So the name Pink just, I've never been attracted to that store before. So there's these pink workout tops just lying on the floor. So of course I call Ty up and I'm like, who does he belong to? I'm not like blaming him for anything, but like I wondered, I mean, obviously he's had past girlfriends. Maybe when he moved into my house, like some of their things from their, pre maybe stuff moved into, or it maybe it could be his mom's. I don't really know what happened and why it was there all of a sudden. And Ty was like, I literally have never seen those in my life. So I don't know why clothes just keep appearing in my closet out of thin air. I have no idea. So maybe it's an attic woman, okay? Maybe we misjudged and it is an attic woman. But if I keep finding mistakes, mysterious clothes. I don't know what to do guys. Oh, okay, so two more things, weird things happened. So the next thing is that one morning I woke up, walked downstairs, went to do my laundry in the laundry room, and I walk in there and literally every single cabinet in the laundry room is just wide open. First of all, we only use like the first two cabinets in that room because the other ones are empty. So we only ever open the ones with the detergent and stuff in it. So the fact that like eight of the cabinets in this laundry room, we have a long laundry room, they were all just wide wide open and I walked in and I was like what? So I called Ty and I was like, were you looking for something that you couldn't find? Like, why are all the cabinet doors open? And he's like, I have no idea. I wasn't even in the laundry room today. <laughs> so I don't know. I could easily just be paranormal stuff. I have no idea. And then the last weird thing that happened is I was upstairs just editing videos and suddenly I started to smell like, you know, the smell of someone cooking and it just smells like boiling water and sort of like a burny smell. It's like when you first start cooking, but haven't added food to it yet. So you're just boiling water and you have stuff on the stove getting ready like you know that smell does that make any sense anyways though I was upstairs in my attic <laughs> in my attic <laughs> I wasn't in my attic. I was in my office. Wow, my brain is all scrambled. I was in my office editing and I start smelling this and Ty's brother was in the house. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's cooking lunch or something. But then he calls upstairs to me and he's like, Jess, were you cooking something on the stove? And I was like, no, I thought you were. And he was like, no, I definitely wasn't. So we walked downstairs and the stove was like warm. Like it was like someone had just cooked. Him and I were the only ones in the house. Ty had gone to work at like 6 a.m. So... I don't know how to explain that, but that was weird too. <laughs> so anyways, those are all the things that I've written down since the last time that I spoke to you guys about this whole situation. Once again, do I think there's actually someone in my attic? Probably not. I don't want you guys to think I'm insane. It's just interesting to like keep updating you guys on this, on the weird things happening in my house because I don't know, it could easily be ghosts. Who knows? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If anything crazy happens, of course, I'll keep updating you, but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.